Hi guys, this is Dushan from Registration Wala and today we are going to discuss about WPC EPA Approval Certificate. So I'm going to tell you in this video about how we can uh, apply for the EPA Approval, uh, what are the documents required, to whom it should apply, eligibility and uh, how we can get the certificate. Let's talk about ETA Approval Certificate, ETA, it's Equipment Type Approval. Uh, so basically, Equipment Type Approval Certificate is required to manufacture a wireless, wireless equipment into the India or uh, to import the wireless equipment from foreign countries to India for the selling purpose within India. So uh, this license uh, got issued from a WPC that is a wing of Department of Telecommunication and the WPC stands for Wireless Planning and Coordination. So uh, ETA approval certificate we can get from WPC, a branch of Telecommunication Department. ETA approval certificate. So, who is eligible and what equipments are eligible to take this ETA approval certificate? First thing, uh, the people who are importing this uh, these equipments or manufacturing these equipments are eligible to apply for the this approval and equipments. Equipments basically which are coming under the de-licensing bands released in the guidelines by WPC which we will also mention in the description. So if they are coming under de-licensed bands then we can apply for ETA approval and there is one more thing the equipment must be uh, exempted from importing license under the, uh, under the guidelines or import policy of DGFT. So two requirements, uh, the equipment must be falling under the D license bands and next it should be exempted from the import policy. So now we are going to talk about uh, the documents required to apply for ETA approval. So basic documents are the company incorporation certificate if it is a private limited company. Uh, it can be applied by any of the person, individual or the company, so that doesn't matter. So if it is a private limited company, certificate of incorporation and PAN card is required. In case of individual, only the authorized person's name, address and the PAN card of the firm is required for, to apply for it. Further documentation are RF testing report, that is radio frequency testing report for the equipment and then there will be authorization letter from the manufacturer if the manufacturer is foreign is from foreign countries so they need to provide an authorization letter to the indian representative to sell or to import the equipments from the manufacturer also there will be one declaration that's a defined format and uh, then there is uh, only online fee receipt which we can get from Bharat Kosh or Demand Draft in favor of WPC. So that's all the documents we require. So now the process of applying for India approval. So first uh, we will get the RF test report from authorized laboratories. The RF test report and all the previously discussed documents will collect them and then file an application to department and submit all the details to them along with filing the application. The application will go under the reviewal. If they find any discrepancies, they will revert us. We need to rectify them and after the submission of rectification, they will finally release the certificate. That certificate is your ETA approval certificate. ETA approval certificate, it is valid for the lifetime for that model of the equipment if you got a once for the uh, particular frequency. 
if there is any change in model or frequency change then you need to change the ETA approval certificate you need to reapply for another model even if you are changing the model if uh, uh, already one uh, uh, equipment is having this uh, uh, approved ETA certificate then you don't need to require uh, any reapplication for the same you just need to get the ETA certificate for that uh, equipment and submit to the custom department to get the uh, release of that particular equipment or those equipments if already in India you are the manufacturer of the equipment and that RF frequency is coming under the approved uh, equipment types then you don't require any ETA approval you can directly sell those equipments uh, some other facts I want to discuss is the type there are two types one I already discussed that comes under the de-licensing bands uh, and exempted from importing license so that we can apply through online portal and it's a self-declaration equipment type approval that is valid for life next if the uh, equipment is not coming under the de-licensing band and there is different band then there are five regional offices that we call as RLOs regional license offices so uh, whichever jurisdiction you are coming in you need to take the equipment to the office you need to get that uh, uh, submit the radio frequency over there and there is another process for that uh, that is not relevant to this uh, that will be completely offline and then RLO will give you the equipment type of approval uh, further more information regarding that uh, process we will give, give in the next video uh, so till now uh, we have completed the equipment type approval through self declaration for uh, the frequencies coming under the de-licensing bands now how we can help into this process so we can get uh, get you help uh, with uh, the rf testing suggestions also the preparation of documents and submitting to the department wpc uh, getting the uh, follow ups from there uh, if there are any discrepancies or objection getting them rectified and issuance of the final license and to hand it over to you so this is how we are going to help here at registration wala for more further discussions go through the description and also mentioning as discussed the de-licensing bank details over there and also the contact number is here on the screen you can also connect us from this number and through our portal you can also visit some other licenses and registrations we are helping it thank you so much from simple startup registrations to nuanced telecom registrations, IP1 registration, FAPRA registration, or FFMC registration, the business licensing game of India is changing, and we at Registration Wala are here to deliver. Regardless of how difficult is a license is to get, we can provide. For more such updates and such videos, please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on that notification button because you don't know when the new update is going to arrive.